All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes. It's, it's Thursday night, and it's time for Live from Akron, everybody. It's so exciting. We're coming to you from the heart of the square. Yeah. And um, so we have a, a, great, a great surprise performer here this evening. Uh, you probably heard people say that name, Corey Grinder, a few times already tonight. He's famous, everybody. Look at him. Look at him. He's famous. He's the, making Akron proud all across the country and beyond with his honky-tonk show, you know, Corey Grinder and the Playboy Scouts, like I told you earlier at the night stage on the Civic, February 18th. Get your tickets ahead of time. And, you know, the two-step, it's a fun dance. And it's, it's the dance uh, I most want to learn. I'll teach you. And Corey told me he would teach me, and he said, come to Annabelle's. And I said, really? <laughs> I'm going to learn two-step at Annabelle's? That did happen once. Sign, that happened once. <laughs> sign me up. And sure enough, there he was, upstairs at Annabelle's. Guy wouldn't know majesty if it bit him in the face. All right. Happy birthday, Joe. I can't right. believe you made it to whatever age you are. We never expected it. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> nice. I, I wanted to ask Corey because, you know, very few people really get to that point where they buy a bus and they also... You should, though. Everybody, get a bus. <laughs> and they also, like, line up, um, you know, the most talented musicians in the region to load up in the bus and take off to Texas to play Honky Tonk. This guy did that. Uh, so what did that feel like? Oh, man. Well, <laughs> trying to uh, turn a school bus from uh, yellow to blue and have seats and everything in it and not have any of the stuff that's illegal to have, like stop signs and stuff, within a matter of two months from people with no experience is uh, quite an experience, but it's well worth it. And everybody should, uh, you know just fly by the seat of their pants sometime and do something they're really not sure whether it's going to work out and see how it goes sometime. That's, that's kind of how you, that's kind of how you gain the confidence to make the next steps in your life. You got to do something you're not sure is going to work out and maybe it will, maybe it won't, but you'll, you'll be informed of your next decision, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's uh, sage advice there, you know, on how to live your life there from Corey himself and, uh, well, how, how was it? To, so you, you hit the honky-tonks, you know, from here to Texas and back. Well, uh, it, it was great. I, I do we do love to get to travel. That, that's been one of the big goals uh, of the group is, you know, and uh, so I took it upon myself to try to book us in a lot of places uh, we'd never been to and try to, like, make those strides, make new friends and take chances. I think we hit about uh, 16 different states this year and uh, hoping to make it more next year. Uh, wanting to get out to Texas has been a dream of mine. So when we finally were able to go out there, we, we the first time we went out to Texas is pretty uh, amazing experience and lucky for us. We uh, got to perform at a, for a short set at a pretty legendary place called The Broken Spoke, which is, has a huge dance floor. And that's all I ever want to see are couples, you know, of people, uh, you know, moving counterclockwise around the floor, doing their thing. Um, actually, uh, we, we had a pretty wild night that night. We didn't actually know we were going to get to perform. We just went there to just to have some fun and get to dance. We all liked to two-step. You're going to be a two-stepper. I know. I see you got it in you. Look, he's tip-tapping already. Uh, all right. Well, um, we're working on some new songs. We're going to be recording a new album this next month uh, here in Akron uh, over at the Electric Company. And they're going to record to some uh, tape again, that old crunchy tape. Sounds real nice. And uh, this is a tune, I don't know, I guess I'll, uh, this is probably one of them, uh, sorry, it's hard to go after some, such a wonderful musicians. I, I love everybody top to bottom. I was glad to see that there's music on Thursday night. Thanks for putting this on, David. To, I saw Joe was playing, I had to come see that. But to get to see Johnny G play again after all these years, just what a crazy, incredible songwriter he is as well. And then my good buddy Kevin over here also lighting up the stage. It was just a treat tonight. So I don't know why I'm up here, but I'm going to do a good three-legged dog song. Uh, you know, one of them uh, limpers. Uh, this is a three-quarter song. So if y'all could switch your brain over to a three-quarter time. <laughs> 